the big highlight of this course is the stretch at the end where there are no covers over the gutters. And what the drivers pull off at that moment will make this race. There is one method to tackle the gutters here. I've already told Takumi about it. It's an incredibly dangerous technique. It requires shifting the car's weight. But it's nothing that Takumi and Kensuke can't handle. I mean, hey, they are my double aces. In a mountain pass like this, you can lose count of the corners pretty easily. Of course, it's worse when you're driving downhill. You begin to lose the ability to distinguish between the straightaways and the corners on any of the upcoming stretches. Knowing where you can and can't go all out will make the biggest difference in this race tonight. You should remember that. This is one of the most important points in my theory to being the fastest on the road. I want this to sink in. Got it? Now, you might be a little curious. Well, I'll tell you what I told Fujiwara. There's only one way to get over those gutters, and it's going to take a hell of a lot of concentration to make it work. So you remember that brand new technique that he's been working on. He likes to call it the gutter run. That's right. This is the entire opposite of that. You may be able to see that this isn't the sort of course where that kind of thing would be possible. It's an adaptation of a weight shifting technique. So if you're heading into a corner at a really high rate of speed, most of your car's weight is going to be shifted onto the two outer tires. When that happens, you open your accelerator more and shift the weight further to the rear of your car. You're basically moving the weight from the outer two tires to the one rear tire. The whole point of performing a weight shift in the first place is to take as much weight as possible off of the inside front tire while you're in the turn. And if you can do that, then you've found a shortcut right over that gutter. This is Project D's first race, so we've got to make this one count. I have high expectations for both Keisuke and Fujiwara. If my theory is to be put to the test, I can't have either of my aces lose. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not much of the fastest of anything if we can be beat on someone else's home course. Speaking of which, Takumi and his opponent are actually pretty similar. The two drive small, underpowered cars and have a pretty good knack for high-speed corner entry. The latter of which kind of relies on it a bit too much. Though we all have to start somewhere, it's still a little rookie if you ask me. Still, I wouldn't take these guys lightly. Who knows what kind of things they know about this road. Now don't take what I'm saying as me sowing doubt in our team. I wouldn't have gone through the trouble of organizing this all if I didn't think we stood a chance. In the end, it all comes down to our double aces. Let's go! Let's go. 